Alright and hello and welcome to Knights of Honor Sovereign. Well, this is a game which is um, developed by Black Sea Studio and published by THQ Nordic. So this is a game which most of us, I guess old school players of Knights of Honor 1 have been waiting for years to finally play Knights of Honor 2. So just like in Knights of Honor 1, our goal is to become the supreme, I guess, emperor of the world, which that would be to conquer every castle, every city, province, or just um, get voted by the other big countries as the emperor of the world. That would mean um, we are the most powerful and nobody can, nobody can do nothing against us. Or have uh, just, uh, or another way, I guess, that would be the big win to have the kingdom uh, kingdom advantages and that would be to have every possible good just like in knights of honor one where we get um, well i guess um, boost our economy our population army etc and basically get that victory with those kingdom advantages and just like in well this is kind of a new thing for knights of honor 2 we have minor victories it's going to be uh, greedy kings, peasant rush, war for goods, and destroy kingdom. So I don't know how long this is going to be as a, as a playthrough, but I'm just going to leave it as the way it is, just to become the emperor of the world or kingdom advantages. So just like in Knights of Honor One, as you can see, this time in Knights of Honor Two we have a large, even larger map. It's around 100, between 110 and 120 something castles, I think, roughly. I, I could be mistaken, could be mistaken, but it is quite a lot this time. We have more parts of Africa, the Middle East and uh, Asia. But like I said, just like in Knights of Honor 1, we don't have three years where we can see everything changes. Every country, everything is changes, nothing stays the same for the hundreds years, I guess. But um, I'm just going to, I don't know, uh, we could we could just basically do this, uh, I would guess, yeah, Nikea. That's like the old uh, Byzantium Empire, so we try to reunite this i guess that, that would be our goal for now but yeah we can we can start this uh the difficulty it is there is for some of the people which have played co one i guess that would be the easier way to to say the game there was not a lot of difference between the easy and hard on knights of honor one but in the second in the sequel it's very very different and it is quite powerful thing in a way that basically the ai in oneasy it is quite easy you you can you can be the emperor in just in what 20 hours of a gameplay or if you put it on very hard or is well, very or hard or very hard you're going to notice the difference in your campaign, in the gameplay, in the way how the AI plays, because they are prioritized very different things than you, and they are very aggressive. They don't take peace very easily. They're just hungry, hungry to conquer you, hungry to destroy you, hungry on themselves to be the emperor of the world. So as Nikea, I'm just going to pick very hard I did play it on easy a little bit, but again, like I said, it is very different from easy and very hard. So I'm just going to put as very hard. We have picked our kingdom. We do have one, two, three, four provinces. We can make it five as well by the kingdom size, but historically Nikea has four. So we're going to leave it as this. The religious standing is going to be 
challenging loses its initial caliphate, so we're going to put it as historical as well. And here is a little change to Knights of Honor 1, where basically you can always change your king, you can be a marshal the next moment, you can make him a merchant, but here your king can make him start where, wherever you like. He can start at random, historically, if he's a marshal, he's going to start a marshal. Um, basically, um, destroy, uh, he's going to have, he's not going to have a, a wife like it says here and he can lead your army you have a merchant a diplomat which basically improves your relationships with other countries a cleric which is basically the monarch i guess in a way as a as a pope in a way and a spy but because we are playing on very hard i'm going to pick cleric because it is actually hard to stay alive so early on but i'll try my best to keep it so who knows this could be just uh well half an hour video so we're going to um let's let's leave the starting goat as normal and we're going to make the aging speed slow so with this um i'll try to reunite Vizentia, our old I guess uh, predecessor in a way by capturing Constantinople um, Istanbul at this point and uh, some parts of down here and basically from there we shall see what is going to happen and where we are going to lead but probably at this age at this time I'll try to make friends with my friends like Bulgaria, Serbia, uh, the Latin Empire and probably go east to at least get a few more lands, coasts, which are going to be very beneficial. So let's start this. Alright, so this is our kingdom. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. And we're uh, we're with a good relationships and we do have three castles, three provinces and you're going to see what buffs do they have so and we can decide which city can be our economical like province but at this point it's only one it's going to be this one but yeah um, from Knights of Honor 1 to 2 the difference is that you have a few villages even a little knights a little castles and basically, they provide you with, well, the resources you need. And this means what it's good to build for your castle. And we have a castle, as it says here, villages and crop farms. So that would uh, mostly benefit buildings with farming and population. And castle as well, but it's only one but i did notice we have a castle here so this could be our main castle place basically we're going to build our military but in a way we also have some goods as herbs and um, spices and horses which are going to be very beneficial for us oh we have actually four well this is going to be our <laughs> main military castle and we do have a church so deposits but yeah, everything here, the little goods provide you, well, the kingdom advantages, for a kingdom sorry. advantages and goods you can get and just get there. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. The world at your and our first thing would be, we're already trading with them, their enemies with Georgia. So we're going to make some friends. They're trusting us. Uh, we don't really care about Venice right now. So We've pleased our we're going to do some sire. trading with some of our neighbor kingdoms their friends those all right so friends so i guess we cannot go really for this country so we're gonna go well at this point east we're going to get constantinople istanbul and see what's going to happen uh they have a lot of friends so i think it would be good 
if I make friends with them as well? No. This is not your uh, free state. So we're going to merchants in our kingdom go. applaud our actions. We're just going to make friends. There we go. I don't know who is this. There are so many countries. No, we won't start a war right now. Nikea, that's us. <coughs> this guy. His Excellency right. the King and his most noble family. And there are threats Aleppo and some other guy. Georgie. Georgia. We've pleased our merchants. Let's sire. become friends. We want to become friends with the East as this part right now. There we go. There we go. So our goal is to conquer this area. And by this, also we know their old school like Greek family, their culture is uh, by uh, uh, Byzantine, I guess. So we need to conquer them. As long as we conquer them and their culture is, culture is like this, we can reunite the old empire. So I don't know how far. Okay, it's this one. So we do need to conquer quite a lot. That's Venice. There's a little castle here, which we could also take on. Here we go. Do you want, do you want migration? That's absolutely fine. And the who is this little country? It's Vassal of... Oh, this is our Vassal. Alright, I was going to actually attack him. Our merchant's okay, opinion yeah, let's do this. Give me your gold. But <clears throat> anyway, we have your uh, crown authority. It's a little bit different than... Uh, that's for one. You have peasantry, nobility, army, merchants, clergy. You have a lot. And this time you can level up your um, king in a very different way with many different skills. Like king. 20 something, almost 30. But uh, yeah, at this point, let's get some buildings up. And as a start, we're going to need some market squares almost everywhere. Build our armies. There we go. We need to watch this. This is basically what is keeping our army up. And we're going to probably need to build our church right up here as well. So this is going to be our main one. This is going to be our economic place kingdom we have building here we're going to get a housing housing yes to get more workers that means uh, more army recruits and all right we have here and we're going to build another market square right here. It's still post, so I'm going to hire a merchant wait to and send orders. him send him somewhere. He's probably going to send him to our neighbor on east and potentially get us some money. We're going to make it times four, so we can go sire. a little bit faster. There we Let go. Let's trade with these fine people. And let's upgrade our king. So we're going to we're, we're going to start attacking west of us. So we need to check the religion. We are orthodox. They are orthodox as well. Catholic. And there are Sunni, a widespread branch of Islam. So if you're going east, west, I mean, we're going to basically fight with Catholics. And we are auto orthodox. And they are Catholics. So My child? this is going to be quite useful. But we really need it. Um, cost of refueling. Chance to convert an occupant town after siege. Could be good. Let's get I'll it. Use my skills for good. We, so basically at the early game we need more books the more books we have that's better 
that's going to be for more settlements and writing writing is going to be our big one right now new building has been finished sire the building has been finished absolutely fine so right now we're just going to chill out going to see with who is doing what right they're they're starting to become friends with the bulgarians which is fine but also not so good uh spread religion uh, i would love this we don't have much gold to build in uh, pleased our merchants, anyway. sire. so we're just going to get some trade agreements uh no we do not want this decline and the trade offer to you no he doesn't want to absolutely fine all right let's see we have uh, crops and villages so we're going to build some of this our lands are ungoverned, my lord. some of our lands absolutely fine which is going to be this one for our merchant i will squeeze every last piece of gold for every you. last piece of gold ghost um yep let right, let's upgrade our look. king again to writing I which is going to pose this quite a lot and we would like to get this little leadership thing which is basically whoever How may we I have serve? it we can put A diplomatic message has arrived no no basically that would mean we can send our merchant to go to war as well so we're starting to get some money let's build some uh, housings that is going to be good in the long term we need some costos here mostly as well uh, horses yeah let's build the market square and it's going to be i would like to build this but let's build a market a square as well. Has been we need a market square quite a lot. Um, yeah, let's try it 69%. So that's going to we have erected a new building, help us quite a lot. Uh, suddenly they're not our friends anymore. No, I do not want to do this. Has been finished, there we go, our that's good. Opinion has improved. Offer no. But for some reason that the color changed they were like a bit gray all right so here let's build harbor has a pact us. that's going to be bulgaria absolutely fine so that's going to be bulgaria and the latin empire no we, we cannot attack right now i know everybody wants to attack a kingdom has joined a defensive pact against uh, us. Athens, all right, that's the Greeks. Nothing to worry about. Let's build this. Uh, nope, that was a bad choice. Let's pause for a second because it needs to be right here. This has like two uh, core settlements, which is going to benefit us even more. So let's build it here. Let's pray so right now it would be good to level up our law which is going to help us well get our um, little villages more buffy and they're going to have some defenses and what else medicine is good this uh, leadership would be good right now I this so well. I because can teach we're trying now. to build our economy right now after that we're going to do learning and potentially while our king is an adult to get a tradition which is going to be the leadership and learning which that would mean every prince every skill they learn is going to be maxed out there go there there's already a rebellion they're going against some people Let's do, let's do, let's just keep. A new construction has been finished. Let's just stay. Our queen has given birth to yeah, a that's, beautiful princess. That's great, but that doesn't really help that much. My child. So let's call to arms. Heavenly might will rain down on those fools. And let's collect 
our Let us restock and rest. Our knights, they are not quite happy with this kingdom stability, so we're going to get a defensive adequate pact against us has gained another support. Latin Empire. Yeah, we know. Is now loyal to us. They expect us we'll set up camp behind to the change. Good, good. That helped us quite a lot. And I'll try actually to I make another to merchant you, and send him to Rhodes. It's going to give us 14. And yeah, let, let's do it. People are not happy in our kingdom. And this low population. Yeah, as you can see, this little guys with the little shields, that's a rebellion. Basically, the lower the stability goes. Well, the worse it gets. My troops are waiting. Our right. trade route is established. Good. What else we're going to do? Uh, this is going to be faster cultural power. Yes. Happiness in Govern Town. It's not really that needed. Yes. Uh, helping the weak action. Happiness, stability wow. Let's do learning. Mm. It's going to I be more useful. Okay, and the last one which we're going to do is going to be probably rhetoric. It's going to give us more books, more cultural power and religi uh, religion conversation. Conversion rate? Yeah. That's it, that's the one. I'm ready. And we're just going to get it any second now. Come on. My there knowledge go. has increased. And now Our we can population there we go. Is rebelling. It got quite low. It got quite low. Your so our population is rebelling fall. right now. Let's get our army and destroy this scum. To battle and victory! To the last man! To the last man! And we need to get the buildings this because it gives them happiness and that's good for everybody. That's um, I think I'm missing housing somewhere. And that's three. That's market square. Oh, there we go. So once we build this, it's going to once we upgrade the building. It go to every other castle which we a already have that building in. Has as this, ask us to you, ask us to go against these guys. No, I would love to, but no. I cannot do this right now. There we go. Get our happiness a little bit higher. A new building has There's been going to be a rebellion here soon as well. There we go, good. Our first victory, that's why I decided to level up Marshal leadership so I can make our King of Marshal as well. Yes, yes. There we go, Kingdom Stability. Our recent actions have reduced the yes. opinion of our army. Our peasantry's Good. opinion has increased. We have a another merchant. Has been completed, One of and our knights is not right governing here. a province. This city there we shall go. become the leading trade center and in the world. What is this place? A diplomat would be good as well. Need advice. We're going to put him to improve our relationships towards the crown. And that's yes, going to sir. keep our population happy so we don't have our own rebellions inside the country and keep it stable right mission impossible mission impossible indeed so just leave it a this new rebellion plagues oh. our lands don't i say it and there we go we have a new rebellion and we're going to take care of it. They're going to probably we start burning. Surrender. The clergy applauds our recent actions. Uh, they're going to burn Rebels this. Are plundering Absolutely our fine. Settlement, my lord. Even uh, there is not enough. That. Should We should be the fine to destroy them. Die. Slightly one-handed. That's fine. So, books. We need like I said, early game, we need the books. And that's going to help us improve our knights 
guess our uh, marshals. In navigation we have three coasts. That's going to be plus three. Actually they're both good. Remember our at sea, we At don't service, care, really. Um, no, you're Tomorrow actually quite decent, we so chat. we're going to get this. That gives me an nice. idea. There we go. I will kill the guards in this dungeon one no. by one. Our crown authority is not increased. happy, Our but everybody else yes. is. Sire, we've pleased our nobility. We just need to be careful. We should not go toward one of those countries because they're prepared for us. We Political should win. View. Um, there. They're already at war with everybody else. Venice. Uh, this is going to be Greece. Oh. I think just, just conquered the... Conquer a city. Merchants in our kingdom applaud our actions, sire. There we go. Sire, we've been victorious. There we go. We've gained favor with our nobility. Oh, we do have... Sire, I am happy to report that the rebel scum are gone. We've yeah. defended a settlement from hostile forces. Indeed. Let's check. Can we, can we get something from them quite cheap? There's going to be some archers, which would be quite good. Calf, some light horses, light archers. Um, expand the road. Yes, well we want spent. this. So we cannot hire him. You can, at this time there are mercenaries which you can hire for war, and you can hire them to go against the rebellions you have. But we, at the moment we don't need them, and it's quite expensive. So this is going to be our kingdom, where castle, where we are going to build our barracks. Because it is quite big, and it's going to it's going to be our main city, which nobody is going to be able to conquer We've our at all. Sire. I've Upgrade this. Again, sire. Basically, give us books and gold, which is very what very good. Fine day to trade. For you, we're going to the upgrade this. Decision, sire. Uh, villages in town, base income trade. Where can we profit? And happiness govern. Each book read means more profit. Uh, okay. So far, For so Christ good. And glory, a new crusade, and the crusade is, is going Sire, of Germany to these guys. Are left ungoverned. Oh, what? We have received a diplomatic message. Wait, this guy a new building, wants us to attack Rum. But I like my Rum. Quite honestly. Yes. I will govern this wisely. is going to boost us out. We have completed an upgrade. Yes, thank you. This is going to boost our uh, series. It's, good. it's like one at the moment when he's getting. It's going to be way better. There we go. We got our kingdom stability. We, we're on the good side right now. There we go. It's plus eight. This is massive income. Uh, let's get uh, some spearmen ready. When we go to war, should be ready to go to war. And can we build our horses? Yes, we will, and we will do because we're going to get more goods. As you can see, this one population growth, herbs. That's basically the food, happiness, a lot of stuff. Of our army. Bulgaria. What? The what the hell are they doing? Fingertip. Oh, they're not at war with anybody. A new construction we're we're, we're just finished. waiting right now. We're waiting. We're slowly My name is building our empire. I cannot wait to Let's hear upgrade this guy. Has been completed, my lord. Yes. A very wise investment. The queen Villages. has given birth right. to a healthy prince. We have a prince. Finally. And we're going to educate him as a marshal because we're going to need marshals soon. Won't be right now, but we're going to need it soon. So let's him educate him. I'm just going to get this object just a tiny bit lower. There we go. And get it on. Let's blind all strategy. We need to keep leveling up our 
His Excellency, the Kings, King princesses, and his everything. And let's upgrade as a first tradition. Would be good to get leadership in this case. But I will go learning. Learning is going to be very powerful. Theology is going to be very powerful and leadership. Those are the main three things which I'm going to need in this full campaign and playthrough because it's really it's just us. It's just us. Well, we're the Orthodox, but they're up there and they already need to do with the pagan and with the Catholic uh, popes and religion. So in this case, the West, my side. I need this but not right now or if I decide to go east so let's keep going let's get learning because that's going to help us it's going to boost everything quite a lot meanwhile let's keep building we have a castle we have villages militia we don't need this let's build up our economy right now it's going to be population growth it's going to build this uh, they're still not quite happy. Why? Um, coach or tension. All right, I see. I see you. Inns. Let's build inns. That's going to be in all of our four castles. Here in the coast, we. I would like to build this, but it's a bit early to build it right now. Even though it's quite good. So let's wait for the net tick. And we're going to get our first complete. learning tradition. Our clergy opinion has improved. Oh. My lord, war has been declared upon us. A foreign defensive pact has lost a supporter. There you go. So basically there's the um basically it's Bulgaria. Basically the Latin Empire decides to get to at war with us for some reason they have bulgaria which that would mean bulgaria is going to join them soon we cannot help but question your kingdom spiritual way ready your troops we are at war yes I die for my kingdom. yes I cannot do that. and i will destroy you a good strategy. it's our peasants but it's absolutely fine we don't have enough food to hire Sire, as much as possible we go an upgrade. Oh, he's already coming at us. That's 3000. Oh boy, this is going to be tough. All right, they're going to ascend. Oh, they already. What? Yes, my lord. What? They, ha they have archers. That's absolutely fine. They have light infantry. It's absolutely fine. Wait, is it? Yes, but boy, for him to have a Varangian card and this guy having the same stuff is going to be a tough one. What is your command? That's going to be 6,000. Uh, we want him to attack that castle. Sadly, we need to hire a marshal as well. Your orders? I am ready. And our first thing would be to go and collect and at this point hire people. We want him to attack our castle. Absolutely good. They're fighting there as well. Our king is going to win that battle there, but we need to defend this castle. Yes. Stop this. That's five. Um that spearman. Siege, defense versus cavalry. Well, um, siege, defense, 83. Can I actually hire him? No, not yet. But I have to get him inside. Get this, get this. That's one. It's going to be 3000 and something should be enough to defend our castle we don't have any other army anywhere so this is us to show the latin empire 
that we are forced to be reckoned with. 